Hi there, sign of Pisces. This is Kim here to do a breakthrough spread for you for Labor Day. I hope you're doing really good. I hope these get out in time, in time for you to see. Thanks for all the support with the private readings, guys. $24. They are pre-recorded and sent to you. And um, for liking, subscribing, you know, all the good things support. I appreciate it. I'm just getting right into the layout because it is a, I have a few cards that I use for this spread. So this is about a pattern that you keep running into, the challenge. At the top of the pyramid is your breakthrough, your strength, your outcome, and then an advice card. <clears throat> And so this this one is that was the 108 oracle. This is the Kipper deck. Okay, your strength, your outcome, your advice card. Okay, and then the, the siren song. I'm I'm almost done. I promise. The siren song is a blend of the Lenormand and the Kipper deck. So you see both. Okay, and one more card, uh, the tarot. I flipped everything upright except for the tarot. We will read in reversals if they decide to come out in a reversal. Okay, and this is the Golden Art, Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. I would pull an angel number for the out for the uh, breakthrough, actually. Well, I'll do it for the breakthrough and the advice. Okay. So your pattern, oh, okay, all right. Well, okay, your pattern is there's a need to invest in yourself when it comes to self-love or love, matters of love. I have a letter or a written communication, something about your occupation, and then I have the handcuff card, which is like feeling like there's going to be, that, like there's a need to break free. So I'm not sure if it has to do with your occupation or if it's a need to break free from some kind of love situation that maybe you don't want to be in. I don't, it might be a combination, but there's definitely some kind of like communication attached to this. What is the challenge? Oh, wow. <laughs> Chess, strategy, planning, checkmate, your grand design, a power play, great fortune. Jeez, look at this. And the tower and the ending. So there is something that you're going to be breaking free from or ending. It, it's, uh, it would lead to great fortune. It, this ending, though, of the situation, like uh, it, will, it will bring a tower moment. And so, therefore, there has to be planning in the next move before you even make your move. So it's going to act like that. Okay, the, the breakthrough <clears throat> is uh, not avoiding something, like not refusing to, you know, it's when we're in avoidance or we're, not, or we're hyper-focused on one thing, and so everything else that's happening around us, we're not noticing or we're avoiding. And so this is taking those blinders off and realizing what it is that you maybe want to end or make a big strategy move upon. You definitely deserve a lot. You have the privileged lady. This energy just kind of receives things. It's like the empress really um, able to receive passively whatever they want, whatever they need. And then interesting, you may have a benefactor or somebody that likes to give to you to also that wants to see you here. Your breakthrough is that there's an energy that really wants to give to you the bear in the Lenormand. This is somebody who wants to give you a leg up, but more than that, it can make people envious here too. So that might be a little bit of a challenge is um, the envy or something like that. The two of wands in the reverse is your breakthrough. Okay, not everything goes as planned. 
and there are more possibilities that we have not maybe paid attention to and so if you're procrastinating or find yourself procrastinating then to step aside and clear your mind from overanalyzing i think that's what that is saying is part of your breakthrough yeah and 1010 10, keep your thoughts positive and be patient as everything is working out for your highest good trust that your angels are behind the scenes to um help you i am patient 1010 10. And divine timing is at play in your strength yeah there is something that's gonna so in your strength is, is to when to recognize when a partnership is not harmonious or it's just not working anymore both of these twos are in the reverse so it's taking the blinders off about whatever partnership whatever this even represents to you when it does that's your strength is knowing when it's not working or it's off balance there's something changing around winter or something like about the winter time. Also, the crone is on here, which is in the trifecta. The crone is that very wise person that uses um, all of their experience, um, turning it into, well, knowledge, turning it into wisdom. But knowledge and plus experience turned into wisdom is what I get from that. So you could have Capricorn season, um, Aquarius or Pisces season there too. And then your strength, you have good luck on your side. You have sudden wealth on your side, 11, 777, and the clover, which is good luck, good fortune. So those are your strengths. Those are pretty good strengths to have. Actually, the best ones I've seen so far today. Okay, your outcome is looking like there's an upgrade. Something might need fixing or there may just be a total upgrade needed with that card may have to do with your partnerships again and there's an energy that not only wants to give to you but kind of wants to get to know you better wants to come together with you courtship this is a very official person somebody who is um high rank spiritual material like they're just high ranked in general and the seven of swords in the reverse is an okay yep that's a need to develop a strategy or a plan and this person, they're so powerful, they could help you with that too. Strategy or plan to, to possibly come into union here. What is your advice? I have an inventor, innovation, imagination, creative, gadgets, technology, groundbreaking, developments, mastermind, inspiring ideas. Something like that. Something you're going to invent or come up with. This is in the distant horizons. Your ship's coming in full force at the theft card, which can indicate um, advice is to watch out, keep your boundaries and be aware for any shadiness or anything like that. You have with the seven of swords reverse. I feel like you have wise discernment for anything that's trying to be or anyone that's trying to be secretive. Um, advice here, too, with the queen of swords in the reverse has to do with somebody who needs to place more boundaries especially with energies that are taking from you take 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 um this is about drawing your boundaries and saying no when you need to and changing your course like if it's not in alignment with your goals and what what you're wanting to achieve or protect for yourself whatever you invent whatever you have created then it's not in alignment so if these energies are not in alignment you figure out where they are who or where they lie right and then um stay away from that <laughs> so nine nine it's time to work on the realization of your soul's mission in life you have a higher purpose in this life that is yours and only yours to fulfill unleash your true power all right so a little bit more on the pattern of the what is the handcuffs about please what is the handcuffs about temperance patience it can feel like uh, being bound in a situation until there's actual change that you see manifesting so this is something that your angels are working on uh, divine timing and patience as things are working out it is a time to maybe go within as the four cups could represent that you feel bored or dissatisfied with something um, but don't forget to look up 
because that that might be rep that cup might be representing your soul's mission here or w why you feel bored or dissatisfied it might be because of heading in maybe a new direction what about the queen of swords reverse and the theft card ending it was yeah ending it with this energy completely a complete ending and then putting it behind um making the strategy to do that because there is a new uh chapter and this is about self-love here at this point just a lot of betrayal or sneakiness hmm strategy regarding an ending uh, death card scorpio showing up twice in the challenge here so it has to do with the transformation and you're probably going to meet somebody probably going to meet somebody on your path maybe there's divine timing about when you meet somebody uh, the hermit in reverse that's kind of like my cue it's maybe just mine but where you're coming out of a cave but you're also meeting somebody on your path um Hmm. Tell me more about the breakthrough with the two of wands. Three of wands. Keep visualizing. Keep expanding. Be open to new partnerships and alliances, especially with this creative, whatever it is, creative, creativity and expansion. And the star, don't worry, you're going for it. Your dreams are coming true. Your wishes are coming true. Some some type of uh, physical manifestation here has something you've always wanted for a very long time. What about this outcome? A two of wands upright. You're turning it all around. At this point, you will have, at this outcome, by the time you come together or upgrade in some way, then you can start planning for more growth, expansion, You'll have choices. You're going to have choices on this path, even if it feels right now that the pattern is you come to a place where you feel like you have no choice. Um, patience, divine timing, strategy on, on the, how to have this ending, I think. Yeah. Time for a new cycle, and an ending instead of rebuilding, an ending and, and not rebuilding something because of just this betrayal energy sneakiness energy it is a new a new will it's a new um a new season for you it's time for things to like go right is how what i'm taking from that and there's the queen of swords again so standing in your power uh communicating really well drawing your boundaries saying no when you have to say no A very straightforward, logical person. They are connected to their heart space. They're just very logical. You won't run over the Queen of Swords. But she'll use her sword on you before you run her over. Especially, again, here with this Ten of Swords. Alright, the Wishing Well. To, ma uh, to make some wish magic, cast this spell, throw pennies in the Wishing Well. Lighthearted. music also fairies dance in the green hollow where the music plays joy will follow and wisdom it's just like that what your strength is is this wisdom that you hold to focus on the past is to lose the future so heed advice from an older person which will allow you to move on and that's what i've got for you guys i'm sending you so much love thanks for joining me bye